So, um, Tinaru Lake, we've actually gone around some of the uh, small tracks around here and uh, really quite pretty. Unbelievably, the growth rings on these trees are quite amazing. You can just see uh, like two. Okay, so we have this uh, very huge rock just in the middle of nowhere, volcanic obviously, and all the surrounding ground has just been washed away. And then we just have this massive, massive thing. Got a fence up the top, and steps, and it's huge. Almost looks like a Nazi bunker out of World War II. Just so big, just incredible. We've got another one over here, a bit smaller, almost like a stairway. So they've created stairs to go up and uh, you can see, it's like a lookout. So there's a piece for the top and there's another piece for the bottom. So you can actually walk up from the other track, but this side here is really interesting so this lake area has some uh, features and treasures that you wouldn't normally think and uh, oh, a bit of a walk and then you've got another set of steps that you go up and uh, you get to the top of the rock Okay, so we had a little drone flight, not very long, about eight minutes, nine at the most, and uh, took some pictures of the rock, then went up about 30 meters and, and did a um, 360 view, really, that's all. It's hard to appreciate how big the um, the dam is until you, uh, you actually see it. But um, the yeah, paths here are really good, really nice. Um, this is supposed to be a four-wheel drive track. Um, if we could have got it as smooth as this at Cape York, we would have been really happy. Although. crowd that goes up there they would make this track into something different real quick. So we're going to go back the way we came. Um, the road goes for yonks and then just conks out. So no no need. We'll just follow through here. Um, Sue's dishwashing liquid in the windscreen washers and you can see how good a job it does. It's actually quite good. Uh, probably about the only negative is it smears on the sides, but so does the other stuff. But through here, just lovely. You know, so if you're a nature buff, um, this stand is worth driving around. Um, if you're not, you'd probably be bored to death. But from our point of view, you're just seeing a different type of uh, scenery that we ever get in South Australia. Um, you know, we get our gums and eucalypts and uh, various different pines, but up here, it's a totally different story. So on the left-hand side, if you glimpse through the gaps in the trees, you can actually see um, the trees that were the, the epic, massive high trees, uh, and when they made the dam, they died, they, they, they became a, um, a hiding place for fish and uh, the next corner, if I slow down a bit, have a look over to the left and you can just see lots and lots of trees. It's pretty look at that. Now you can see. Now you can have a shower. Yeah. So. A 
but that's that's pretty incredible. So you can just see the amount of water there and uh, people lined up everywhere. So it's pretty uh, pretty impressive. Oh, I'm gonna go out and have a look at this. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, why wouldn't you with your GoPro on actually have it? So this is where all the the faces are being taken and it is amazing so we better make sure I don't back into a pole okay I know what that fella would do that from Parnelli Park he'd make it into some sort of hydro just incredible so when I said it's 50-60 feet yeah oh, absolutely that's a huge amount of water yeah. Hi. Yeah, well, I'm going to walk along here. So the, the dam wall was quite large and then you've got at least another couple of metres, 500 lift each time by the look of it and uh, it is just incredible. So a moment ago we were across the other side of the, uh, the dam and uh, yeah what a fitting end to a wonderful day. So uh, just fantastic. Um, and we actually have a car 
that's not actually covered in red dust. Um, I don't know why I wouldn't take my canoe out there, except I'd probably end up in South Australia. So there we go again. Um, we're just taking a, a little bit of footage before we start off and you can just see how far it's shooting in the air. Um, <laughs> the vortex is just unbelievable. So, there you go. So, amazing. A couple of, looks like walnut trees. I don't know what trees they are really, but they look like it. Um, little picnic area over there that needs a lot of love. 